Hello everybody! Welcome to tonight's stream! Sorry about that, I accidentally ended the stream. <laughs> I don't know why, I just I just pressed it and it was just like, okay, guess, guess the stream's over! And then it's like, I'm glad you guys are still here! Kadora 45 Genocide of Maiden, hello, welcome! So glad to have you here! So, today, we are going to go back to one of my childhood classics. Now, this was back in a time where Small Emil didn't choose his own games. Basically, my parents would, like, surprise me, maybe after school or something, with these games. And I happened to get Banjo-Kazooie as one of those games. And I remember back then, I couldn't do very well. Basically, I'd get, like, most of the ones in the early levels, but then we get to the later ones, I couldn't actually, you know, get some of the harder ones. So I couldn't actually, like, finish the game back then. But fortunately, these games have been re-released. Like, when it came out on, um, Xbox. Because I did have a free 60 at the time. So naturally, I bought Banjo-Kazooie on that, too. Of course, that version's a lot easier because when you die, the game doesn't forget how many collectibles you collected. Which is what the N64 version, it didn't do. It didn't keep track of your collectibles until you actually got them all. Which is, happens to be the version that Nintendo Switch Online has, so... I am aiming for 100%, but there's no guarantees. I mean, should be. I've 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 100% of this game before. No worries. Oh my gosh, I must have been I must have been ranting a bit too much. I think we should get started, don't you? Getting to see the end again is so nice. <laughs> he got squid. <laughs> He's silly. He's a silly dragonfly. <gasps> there he is. There they are. Banjo Kazooie. Do you remember Brentel Floss? He basically did these videos like if video game music had lyrics. And he basically did one for Banjo Kazooie. He loves Banjo Kazooie. It's so funny. If you've never seen it, just look up Brentel Floss Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Unfortunately, I don't have an N64 controller for an antenna switch online, sadly. <laughs> so I'm, I'm literally just using a pro controller. I sure hope it does get goes well. <laughs> ah, the nostalgia and the memories this brings back. Well, without further ado, let's get started. There we go, file one, let's go! My goodness. Imagine sharing a mountain with this witch. Welcome to Gruntilda's Lair, everybody! Ding pop, ding pop by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why, it's Grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. Yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. Yeah. Yeah, it does really make you stand out. Er, uh, but there is this girl. Uh-oh. What do you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me. Really? 
why it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. But she's only like five. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tootie. She's cute and kind. Like me? Well, we'll see about that. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Little does this girl know that she's the target of the Wicked Witch. Hi there, Tootie. What are you going to do today? When my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure. Or so she thinks. <laughs> I mean, she kind of is, to be fair. Well, sleepy bands here as always. <laughs> Wake up! I want to go on an adventure too! I'm sure you do. Uh-oh. If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks. And ugly she'll be. <gasps> oh no! Look out, Tootie! Is that your brother? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him. Up there in the sky. Why would he be in the sky? I don't think so. Who is that? <gasps> Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. Yeah, Gruntilda literally is like this all game. <laughs> Let me go, you ugly old hag. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need bigger underwear. Oh no! Don't need that. Oh no, she's got her! Somebody help! Banjo, wake up! Now! Honestly, Banjo, how could you sleep through that? <laughs> what do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside! There's trouble! <gasps> Uh-oh! You okay, Kazooie? You okay, buddy? I guess she is. So here we are, Banjo Kazooie. So yeah, it'll only show you the progress on worlds when you actually go to those worlds. So as you can see, Spiral Mountain, six honeycomb pieces. The only world with six honeycomb pieces in one place. So, how have you guys been today? I hope you've had good days, everybody. Listen up, I'm Bottles the Short-Sighted Mole. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy, Kazooie. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy. Oof. <laughs> what was all that noise about? Where's my sister, Tootie? The ugly witch Grunty swooped down out of the sky and kidnapped her. Or grabbed her. <laughs> Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous. So you'll probably need some training before you go up there. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves. Or press B if you think you're already good enough. See, it's pretty cool, actually. But as you guys know, I've played this game before many times. Yes, press A to learn moves, or B to start right away. You bet we're good enough, Goggle Brain. Hmm, very well. I'll give you your basic moves. Meet me at the top of Spiral Mountain. Well, before we do that, of course, we have honeycomb pieces to collect, because this is going to be a 100% run of the main collectibles, of course. Well, <laughs> at least I'm... I mean, I probably... I mean, it probably doesn't matter. Hmm, I, it, I'm sticky honey energy. 
yeah, just uh, just the whole fact that it's a different controller means it's gonna be uh, take a little bit of time, but you know, we'll get there. I think I'm good though. I think I'll be able to do this. Right, I think this is gonna be that one. That you go. Yay, we got the first honeycomb piece. I'm an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us to increase your energy bar. Yep. Hence why Sparrow Mountain's the only world with six, because it's basically the, the basic hub. And we can do claw swipes. It's just remembering which direction, because I think the, uh... It's inverted control for the, uh, camera. And look! Always check behind the waterfall, guys. There's always a secret. Dee Dee. Look out for me, I'm an extra life. Sure thing, will do. There's Collie Wobble. Whoops. <laughs> Give me my honey energy back, you. Right, so here we have the Beak Bash move. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm getting, I'm used to this already. I'm getting used to this, uh, control scheme. And there's another one. Just three more to go, and then we can go into Gruntilda's lair. See, so yeah, like I said before, this is literally my, like, childhood. My, my, uh... My early childhood, even. Have any of the chat played Banjo-Kazooie before? Right. I don't think I have the egg moves yet. I think I get those in the uh, main world. You didn't? Did you not have an N64, or was it before, or is it af before your time? Because I know, I know I'm kind of old for a VTuber. I think people would be surprised how old I actually am. But then I made sure that it's part of my lore that I am as old as I am. So, you know. I just need to remember where all the honeycomb pieces are. I can't believe it. I already can't remember. Yeah, we can't swim underwater yet. That's later. Honestly, you missed out if you never played this game before. The GBA GameCube era. Okay, that's understandable then. There should be honey. There should be a honeycomb piece around here somewhere. I mean, this game has been re-released a couple of times on Xbox when 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 they um, acquired Rare. I'm sure there's meant to be a honeycomb around here. You should be able to get all six. You know, it's the first world after all, so of course you'd be able to get all of them. Hold on, I think there might be one or two in the trees and stuff, actually. Let's go first person! I mean, I figure me knowing about all these really old games makes sense for my lore to be the same age. I mean, it would probably confuse people if... I had, like, knowledge of games before my, before my time. You know what I mean? Although I'm sure there are some VTubers who don't really care either way, to be honest. I... I know there is one... Down there! Yeah, we do can- we can swim. We can at least swim. All right, just one more. I think it's in a tree. 
I mean, my lore is probably a bit confusing, actually. <laughs> My lore is kind of weird in the fact that, you know, it's fantasy, but it's also, you know, it makes me knowing things about this world kind of weird. About this reality, I should probably say. My lore is literally that I'm an alchemist in training who was basically... Who basically decided to become one after they got saved by a, a wandering alchemist. Before I was just literally just, you know, living my life and, you know, not really knowing where I wanted to go with my life. But I was saved from a terrible beast. A terrible, ferocious dragon. While working as a courier. You know, delivering, like, stuff between villages. I'm pretty sure there's a honeycomb in one of the trees. Over there! Over there! I think I think it's that tree. Yeah, there it is! Yeah! Six honeycomb energy now! So yeah, the lore isn't complex, but it kind of it kind of comes off as weird that I can know about like stuff. But then again, I am still training. So you know. So you're ready to tackle the witch now? We sure are. Show us the way, bottle boy. Cross the bridge to enter Gruntilda's lair. Look out for me inside. Good luck. Thank you, bottles. I'll see you in there. It's kind of weird. They've been neighbors for apparently as long as they can remember. Yeah, it's only now that Gruntilda's being like guided to the fact that Tootie's prettier than her. It's kind of weird, but whatever. <laughs> I love how she barely fits in her own machine. <laughs> This fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and tootie old. Let me go, you fat hag. My brother will come and kick your butt. Rescue you, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klingo, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. <gasps> Don't push my switch. Yes, Mistress Grunty, power is on. I will save you, Tootie! Maybe not today, though. There he is, the fun begins. My tricks and traps, we'll see who wins. Bring it on, Gruntilda. I've beaten you before and I can beat you again. Even if I don't quite remember where everything is. So as you can see, you found a jigsaw picture. Stand on the jigsaw-shaped podium, and I'll explain what you have to do. I already know what I have to do. You don't have to tell me, Bottles. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> yeah, I figured I should have posted my lore, like, in a, like, reply to my actual thing. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece. Of missing. Ah, uh, thank you for the head pat. Thank you, Gil. Thank you. Mwah. Thank you. So yeah, my lore is kind of basic, but I figured, you know, it would make more sense than any lore. I'll be needing all that lore. I'm sure you will. Hi, Gil. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it so much. And thank you again for the head pat. To enter the world shown on the picture, you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw pieces. We've got the first jigsaw piece, Goggle Boy. Great. To fill in the missing spaces on a picture, press A. If you don't want to use any jigsaw pieces, press B to leave. Of course I'm going to use it. 
What else am I gonna use it for? That's it. The picture's complete and the door to Mumbo's Mountain is now open. Yay! That was such an easy fit. The others may just test your wit. Well, I just have to get used to the uh, controller. Oh my god, you see how blurry that was when we entered it? That just shows you how old the game is. There are three new moves to learn in this world. Find my molehills and I'll explain. Aha, uh -huh. three moves. Picking between A and B is going to be the difficult part for me. I mean, I played with an Xbox controller. I mean, I should know. You've never played it either, Guild? I am a note, one of a hundred on each world. Collect us to open the note doors. Yippee, you saved me! Gruntilda has imprisoned five of us Jinjos on each world. Free us all to get our Jiggy! Hello, 90skid86. Welcome. Thank you for coming to the stream. Ah, someone else he played it as a kid. Ah! Oh my god, I forgot about him. Yeah, I played the N64 version as a kid, too. Although I never really, I never finished the game back when I was a kid. It was when I was like a teenager, like... No, actually it was when I was an adult, a young adult. How's it going? Not too bad, thank you. No, don't hurt me. <laughs> I'm just a bear. <laughs> There you go. This is easy. Uh-oh. Not quite. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I just got back from work. You must search for ten of us in each world. We'll help you progress through the witch's lair. Thank you, Diggy. Yatta! I got one. When you're ready to leave this world, return to the start area and stand on the exit pad. But of course, if you don't collect everything, it won't save your progress. You gotta recollect them all again. So there's actually two Jiggies around here. As you can see... Chimpy hungry! Wants orange now! Feed Chimpy! Yeah, Congo, he's... He's throwing all his oranges away, though. It's such a waste, don't you think? Hey, that Congo's orange! Put it back! <laughs> Yum! Oranges are nice! Aren't they? Orange juice is nice. Oh, Chimpy like Congo's orange! Chimpy help fat bear and bird! Hey, I'm not fat! That's not very nice. I'm not fat. Wow, we've got two Jiggies already. But, but wait, there's a third Jiggy we can get here as well. Whoops. <laughs> Where are the eggs? Kazooie can learn to use us as ammo. I mean, I'm sure people out there have actually played a Banjo game, right? Did you play Nuts and Bolts? Yeah, it's not really a traditional Banjo game, but it was still a pretty decent one. Whee! <laughs> Time for the buzzer to learn ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, Beetle Breath. Hold Z, then press the top C button to shoot an egg out of your mouth. Hey, sounds cool. Anything else? Sure. Press the bottom C button instead, and you can shoot them out from your behind. Ew. <laughs> Sheesh, sounds painful. Wish I'd never asked. <laughs> yes now, too late now. Bird Brain can carry 100 eggs in her backpack. Oh, and you can also use the control stick to aim while you are crouching. Eggs sighting, huh? Ah, uh, bottles. Now that you've learned how to use the eggs, here's 50 to practice with. Thank you. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Ah, uh, thank you, bottles. He's so nice. Ooh, Mumbo! Eek-um-bo-cum. 
Me Mumbo Token, use for Mumbo Magic. That's not offensive, is it? Right, I can't use the Beak Bash yet, so... I'll have to come back for that later. Whoops. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoops. Alright. Hey, Conga. Whoops! Oh, I forget how he's safe. Me safe here. Bear can't hit Conga. Ah, oh, Banjo, you feel a bit slippery. It's not just me, right? He's not slippery. Pew, pew, pew! Your egg hurt, Conga! Well, that's gonna hurt even more. Jump. Jump. Take that, Conga, you jerk! Urgh, bear beat Conga! We give prize to bear! Yay! Jiggy number three! Ah, oh, camera, please! Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. We got three already! And then he starts attacking me again. It's like, didn't you learn your lesson? I can literally go up there and kick your butt again if you want. Uh-oh. Things a bit slippy, huh? Find me, and I'll teach you how to get up there. <laughs> how to get up steep slopes. I hope so. Go away, leave my honeycombs alone. I don't need your honeycombs anyway. So again, how have your days been? Aha, Jinjo! Jinjo! Oh, wow. I didn't know I could jump on his head and it wouldn't hurt me. I didn't actually know that. We need a couple of these. Can't get up there yet. I think first let's go up here, because we can climb stairs. Just the slippery slope we can't deal with yet. <gasps> Look at these termites, they're huge! Whoops, missed. Got you! <laughs> Got him! Ah, uh, have you been up late? I mean, to be fair, it is like 7 o'clock where you are, huh? Have you been busy? Oh, look at Jiggy out in the open! Yeah! We've already got four. Unfortunately, we can't climb up there yet, but... But... There should be something around the back here. Mumbo token! I'll take that. Okay, maybe it's not back here after all. <laughs> ah, here he is. Hey, Bottles! I'd like the Talon Trap, please. The Talon Trap will let Kazooie s s tackle steep slopes with ease. That sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold Z, then press the left Z button. Continue to hold Z while moving Kazooie around with the control stick. Go practice! There we go! Oh, it's a follow! Thank you! Thank you, Puppet Uwu! <laughs> oh my gosh, you have Uwu in your name! <laughs> Thank you for the follow! Thank you so much! Here's Jinjo number three! Just two more left. Oh yeah, now we can actually traverse these slopes and not have to worry about, like, sliding down them anymore. Let's just collect the notes. There are lots of notes on these slopes. But for me, I'm gonna find it a bit confusing, trying to get round. <laughs> Using a controller I'm not familiar with. I mean, I've, used, I've played the Xbox Live version, so I can actually use a controller like the Switch Pro one, but, um... The fact that the, the uh, buttons are switched makes it kind of tricky. 
just my favorite color, Jinjo, the green one left. I love the Talon Trot, though. It's so useful. It's a lot like having Coridon in Pokemon. Very useful. Alright, let's go and head up to, uh... Let's head up here. There are a few Jiggies here. Plus, I should probably learn the Beat Bash. But also... <gasps> ha! Jiggy alert! Yay! <laughs> we got half of them now. We're halfway there. And we're halfway at the notes as well. Yippee! You've collected enough notes! You've collected enough notes to put the first spell door! So if we wanted to, we could leave here right now and head to the next world. Because I think we have enough Jiggies as well. Right, where are we going next? Alright, we're back here now. There should be balls around here somewhere. I'm sure. There he is! There you guys see? There he is! Wait a minute, when you say it's normal at this point, is that because you're, you're watching my stream and that bores you? Is that what you're saying? I call this... <laughs> I call this move the Pink Buster. Jump into the air, then press Z to send Kazooie slamming hard down to the floor. Oh, I don't like the sound of that, Banjo! <laughs> Get used to it, Ness Girl. You'll be using it a lot. Whoa, Banjo, there's nothing more I can teach you on this world. Thank you, Bottles. Now we can slam these huts. You're always tired. I mean, that's fair enough. I mean, for me, it's when I'm at work. Being at work can be very tiring, you know. You don't necessarily feel tired, tired, but you know, just being in those uh, art under those artificial lights for so long, especially when it gets dark, makes you feel so sleepy. But then, as soon as I leave work, I suddenly have a second spring of energy. Whoops! <laughs> no, no, I didn't want to do that. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I need to get used to this. What? How am I missing? Huh? Oh, camera, please. That's gonna be awkward. One more. Got him! Yay, Jiggy number six! Jiggy number six. Yatta! <laughs> Oh, wait, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no! I forgot about that! Oh, no, I'm gonna have to leave the world and come back for this one. Oh, my gosh! Ouch! Sorry, I just destroyed your home. I hope you forgive me. <gasps> There's a Jinjo! Number seven! Wow, we are zooming through this level, aren't we? I mean, it is the first world, so I guess it makes sense. And a little life! <gasps> oh my god, another Jiggy! Ding, 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 ding. Got eight, just two more left. I know where one of them is. Can't quite remember where the other one is, but I'm sure I'll find it. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know where it is. Oh, look! What do we have here? There we go, we got nine. Here we are. 
Mumbo's hut. Hello, Mumbo. Me, Mumbo, best shaman in all game, can help Banjo and Filthy Feathered One. Watch it, hot boy! Mumbo's magic tokens hid by witch. Find tokens and Mumbo help you. Banjo, not good enough tokens. Not got enough tokens for Mumbo magic. Look at sign. Bring more. Yeah, because he's totally not an offensive character. <laughs> But I can go on this one because it's not on fire. Give me more eggs, please. Thank you. Whoops. Oh, well. I don't need that egg anyway. There's plenty more eggs in the, uh, in the lair. It's fine. So, yeah, I can't actually get that honeycomb until I leave the world and come back. But I don't want to have to do that until I've found everything. I believe there's a Mumbo token in here, though. <laughs> hey, ugly! No bears allowed in Ticker's t tower. <laughs> Unfortunately, Banjo doesn't have a triple jump. <laughs> anyway, that's the last token I need. So yeah, there should be some notes in there as well I can get, too. So now we can go. Here we go. Ah, Banjo has plenty tokens. Stand on skull and press B to see Mighty Mumbo magic. Are you ready, guys? Because I don't think Banjo and Kazooie are. But too bad. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a termite! Mumbo's magic free to change back. You come when ready. Termite bit small, but not bad for a first spell. Mumbo practice needed. Wait, that was his first spell? That's the first spell he's ever used, ever? I mean, it's not too bad, I guess. Not the smallest creature you can transform into anyway. You gotta love the little clicky sounds of its feet when it hit the ground. <laughs> we're not a bird, we're a termite. Yeah, this is one of those where the, uh, the transformation's only good for, like, one or two things. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I gotta be careful. Because when I'm a termite, I can't attack, so you gotta be careful of enemies. But the termite should leave me alone, because they think I'm one of them, right? Ah, oh, come on! Why am I sucking at this again? <laughs> I thought I could do better than this. Have you tried not falling down? I've tried! Here we are. Hello, termite friend. Hey, where did you get those shorts? I want them. Oh wait, no, they will attack me because they want my they want my clothes. They want to strip me naked. Yeah, bit. <laughs> Give me that cool backpack or else. No, I don't want that. No. They want to strip me of my clothes. It's not fair. I'm only a small termite. I can't fight back. There's another one. We did it! Yay! That's all the jiggies. It's weird how I don't get hurt jumping from a height as a transformed thing. Right, okay. Ah, here we go. Here's some notes. Just six more and then I've gotten everything apart from those honeycombs. 
Aha, here's three. So there's three left somewhere. Over there. Yay! We found all 100 notes in the world. Thank you, Bottles, thank you. What did you learn today, Genocider Maiden? Is it my lore? Or is it something else? <laughs> Alright, I should be fine now. I should be able to. Let's see. Let's see what we got. You can tag people on YouTube. Yeah, you can. Right, we don't have any of the honeycombs. We shall come back for those shortly. Yeah, it was weird. I actually just did it, and then it's just like... I saw it, and I was like, what? Really? You can tag people on YouTube now? Grunty's magic stops working, taking the notes off of the world, but you, but you collect 100 you collected counts as your best note score. Try to get 100 on each world, as they are needed to open the note doors. So, as you can see... I forgot to read what he was gonna say. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to. Ah, yes, you would, wouldn't you? Okay, we've already found everything. We don't need to collect these anymore. We've already collected the, them all before, so we don't need to collect them all again. But I do know for a fact we can get some honeycomb pieces. Some honeycombs. So we gotta do that before we, uh... I also have to come back here later. I'm kind of glad I'm doing shorter streams now, because it's the late shift, so I, I only have like a few hours. <clears throat> right, I should be able to get honeycombs now, so I've gotta... I've gotta, sh gotta knock them down a bit, and then I can get that honeycomb up there. Feed us with nice blue stones. No, you mean eggs. They're eggs, Juju. Okay, now I can jump on there and... Just one more. I think it's around the water. But Genocider Maiden, you already have a green hat with a blue ribbon. Oh my gosh. I need to remember where the honeycomb is. Where is this last honeycomb? I know it's around here. Oh my gosh, I gotta do this again? I gotta do this again? I don't wanna do this again. No, the hat's mine. You take away the hat, you got nothing. I'm nothing. Right, there's a honeycomb around here. I know there is. Why would you take away the one thing that defines me as a character? As I said, without my hat, I'm just nothing. I'm less than nothing. Ow. Ow, stop it. Uh, where's this honeycomb? I can't believe I can't remember this. I mean, it's been a while since I last played this game, so it makes sense that I can't remember, but... 
I don't know why I'm collecting the notes. I don't need to. But I know you. You can shapeshift, can't you? You could literally shapeshift and disguise yourself as me, and then you could do all sorts of terrible things to me. To my, to my, like, identity. <laughs> You could make me unsafe, though. I mean, you've already done that, so... <laughs> I guess that's something I can't really fight back against anymore. But where could... Where's this nest... Honeycomb piece? Okay, we're learning some Junico lore. So you have to change the colors. I see. Oh, wait a minute, I know. It's up there. I think it's up there. Yes, there it is. I knew it was around here somewhere. So basically, you need the hat to disguise yourself as me more easily. Is that what you're saying? There we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How would I look with a tan, do you think? Do you think a tan would suit me? There we go. It took 25 minutes, but we've 100%ed Mumbo's Mountain. Yay! Uh, yeah, that's right. I can't grip that. Speedrun strats. <laughs> no, if it was speedrun strats, I'm pretty sure someone could have beaten this in like half the time I've taken. But then it has been a while, so I'm only going for 100% completion anyway. Oh wait, no, I need to go back. I need to go back. I almost forgot. I need to become a termite again. See, this is not speedrun strats. <laughs> this is terrible street speedrun. Don't look to me for speedruns. I'm terrible at speedruns. Rare. <laughs> Here we go, termite. Because as you saw in the uh, termite tower, termites can climb really steep ledges, but Kazooie can't. So in order for us to get that jiggy that we got on top of the uh, mountain in the hub, we have to be a termite. See? Oh, <laughs> yeah, look, look, see? So yeah, there's even 10 Jiggies in Gruntilda's lair as well. Oh no. Hey, when did you get those shorts? I want them. Not again. Those shorts are mine. Mumbo, magic get weak. Animal turn back or magic go. Magic all gone. Must go back. Let's go back to Baron Bird now. Yeah, we can't keep this form out in Gruntilda's lair. But then why would I bother going all the way back to him when I can just let him the magic run out, you know? Aha, look at this. It's a note door. Hey, Bottles. This is a note door sealed by Grunty with one of her powerful mu musical spells. Open it up then, Jam Jars. It's not that simple. To open it, you must collect the musical notes from the worlds. How many do we need? The number on the, the, number on the door is the strength of the spell. 
The combined total of all your best note scores from the worlds must be at least this to break Grunty's magic. Mm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Thank you, Bottles. He's so nice, even though Kazooie's kind of a jerk to him. We did it! Yay! Moving on. That door was easy you got past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. Yeah, Grunty speaks in total rhymes in this game. But only in this game, not in Tui. Because you know, I guess it would take, I guess it takes a lot of time to write these rhymes for her. And I guess putting it in a whole bigger game probably wouldn't be ideal for the uh, developers. <laughs> to remove pieces that you have already put down, press the down C button. But once the picture is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. So yeah, you can take the puzzle pieces out. Just in case you need to like ration your puzzle pieces, maybe. But we're fine. See, we still have nine puzzle pieces. That's probably enough to to finish two more portraits. Treasure Trove Cove. It's time to be a pirate. Arg. <laughs> All right, I believe I know where it is. I think we can also open another one. I'm still here, I watch you play, but I can't think of much to say. I mean, that's fine. I sometimes struggle with much to say too. So yeah, if we look around here, Yeah, we can't actually go here yet because we don't have that pipe raised. I want to have a look around and see if I can find any more portraits to, uh, to complete. <gasps> Excuse me. Oh look! It's a cauldron! You've activated a magic cauldron! Find two of the same color to create a shortcut. Nice. Yeah, because every time you leave the game and come back, you start at the beginning of Grunty's uh, lair, so you these shortcuts are always useful. So yeah, I have something very interesting to tell you about this. Now this... Oh no, Genocide of Maiden! Genocide of Maiden's been grunty this whole time! <gasps> wow. Yeah, this was originally gonna be the entrance to another world. But they had to cut it, cut it out of the game, so they used it. So they, so they, you know, they kept it as like a. Uh, so they kept it just to use it as a uh, hub, you know, as a pedestal puzzle thing to do. All right, it's time to go be a pirate. Yeah, we can go up here. And get some red feathers. Wee, I'm a red feather. I help Kazooie fly when she knows how. Isn't it kind of weird that a bird doesn't know how to fly? I know they're doing it just so you can unlock moves and stuff, but surely Kazooie should be able to fly. Right? I mean, I guess emus and stuff don't fly, but, you know. Ahoy there! This be Treasure Trove Cove! There be two new moves for ye to find! 
Okay, Bottles, I'll go find you. <coughs> yummy, yummy, let's have some sushi. Ooh. This is Kazooie's Shuck Jump Disc. Find me and I'll tell you how to use it. I think I can see you right here, though. You'll reach new heights with my shock jump spring. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. She's a Bree girl, actually. Simply stand on a shock jump disc, then press and hold A. Pretty basic. Aha, Mumbo token. Not every world has a Mumbo hut, though, so basically... The other worlds, you're basically finding extras. Because you're gonna need them. Right, nothing here. Boingy boingy! Oh look, he's a ginger friend! You're safe now, my... My... My purple friend. Yeah, the beat bash. The funny thing about crabs is you can beat them the normal way, knocking them on their back and then killing them. You get one honeycomb. But if you do the beat bash, you actually get two. So if you're running low on energy, then you can basically use this to quickly restock yourself. Uh, no, not these. You gotta be careful of these clams, because they'll knock feathers and eggs from you, and then eat them, so you lose them. So you gotta be careful. This is a flying disc. You'll have to find my molehill before you can use it. I know where it is. It's weird. I believe it's up there. H how does a molehill end up on a ship? There's barely any ground for him to hide in. There's no there's no dirt for him. Ah, Avasti, we bore it in the salty hippo. They tried to make a man out of it, clearly. No. <laughs> Bad genocide of me. It's time to use your wings to fly. At last, it better be easy, bogey eyes. Or bug eyes. Simple enough even for you, bird brain. Just stand on a flying disc and press A. Here's 25 red feathers to help you into the sky. Nice going, you've learned all the co cove's new moves. Oh no, someone's crying. And someone is also whistling for help. <gasps> Hello there, Skullby. Welcome, welcome to the stream. I'm glad you could make it. Thank you. Right, so I think... <gasps> Party of three. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Hello there, Raiders. Welcome to my stream. I am your friendly, chill, fanboy alchemist in training, Emil Hart. Pleased to meet you. I hope we can develop a friendly clientele. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, we're playing... Banjo-Kazooie on the NSO, the Nintendo Switch Online. A game I had when I was, I was a small Emil. Of course, back when I was a small Emil, I never finished it. Because <laughs> it was so difficult to get everything for, for me back then. Eww, I hate the burping noise. Hey there, I be Captain Blubber and I lost me treasure when me ship crashed. 
Well, go find it then, Blubber Guts. Arr, but I can't swim. Can you help an old sea hippo? Sure, we'll fight it for you. Now, I've got to ask. How did he end up crashing here, of all places? He's surrounded by sand. I don't get it, but, you know. That's just the way the game is. There's no need to question the logic in it. Oh, look at all this gold. I kind of don't want to give it back. Look at all this stuff. So how are you guys doing? Ahoy there, I be Blubber's treasure. How was your stream, by the way, Skullby? What did you stream? Oh my gosh. Inverted controls. I'm not used to this. Uh-huh. Right, let's, uh, let's jump out of here. Let's get out of here. No, I'm not going to give it you. No. I'm going to find it all before I give it you. I'd rather give it to him all at once rather than just give him little bits at a time, you know? He clearly misses his treasure. So I'd want to surprise him by making sure he got it all back at once. I'd hate him to think that he might have lost some of it. Okie doke. I think that's all of it. Ah, Phasmophobia. That game has come along a long way when I first played it. Definitely an early access game that's worth the price of admission. There's a lot more to it now, isn't there, than when it first started. I remember playing it in a collab. A few days ago, you know, a few, uh, la a few months ago during Halloween, and it was like, wow, there's been a lot of change in this game, huh? Hey, Captain! There you go! Me treasure, thank you, me hearties! Take this reward! I'm off to spend, spend, spend! Kind of weird. No, normally pirates don't like spend their treasure. They hide it away. They bury it. There we go. There's a first ye. I'll hopefully finish this level before we hit the two hour mark. Because that's normally how long my streams tend to go for on the late shift. I'm literally back from work at just about half past ten at night. Which means I can stream from 11 to 1 a.m. Whoops, that was, that was, ouch! Why do these treasure chests have teeth? Oh no, not you, not you. You're not getting my eggs or feathers. Alright, three, two, one, jump! Ah, more feathers. Ah, oh, Mr. Keen Artifact, you made it too. Welcome to the stream. Ah, yes, of course there are notes in here. Ah. Right, I know some of these palm trees have, um... Notes on them. I've actually hit the limit of notes. Wait, wait. <gasps> what was I caught on there? I'm doing good, thank you. How about yourself? Ah, you see that? You see that over there? Shark Food Island? That was for a feature that they added in the Xbox Live version called Stop and Swap. Basically, you could find these special items and you could trade them in for like rewards in Banjo-Tooie. They were pretty cool. I'm glad that they were able to find... I'm glad they were able to use them. Because 
because unfortunately, they had to block some of the stuff off. Because they had implemented some of the stop and swap stuff. But they had to find ways to make sure that you couldn't get them. I mean, you could probably have gotten them if you, like, hacked the game or something. You have avoided the authorities. Wait, what did you do? What did you do, huh? What did you do? Oh no, I missed! Well, at least I got the crab. Now I know there's something in here. I think it might be a life in this one. Or eggs. <laughs> I guess eggs are good to you. So let us keep exploring. There's some more notes. Very good. Need more notes. I mean, I feel kind of bad for for enemies like the crab because you know they get they get they don't just die they just get they just fall to pieces. Oh, come on. That's not fair. You sneak into people's houses and put ice cubes in their drinks? Why is that a bad thing exactly? To fly higher, you'll need some red feathers. Press A to use one. But remember that Beaky can only carry 50 of them. 50 of them right now. She can get more. <gasps> Look at that! X marks the spot. Hot chocolate and coffee. But isn't there iced coffee? Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. <gasps> well, we can't turn down that invitation. But, first, see, there's a, uh, there's a treasure chest here. <gasps> this be Gruntilda's booty. Touch it if you dare. I don't really want to touch Gruntilda's booty. But we got it. <laughs> that golden treasure was for me. Now harder still, the game will be! Alright, I don't think there's anything behind him. Nah, I didn't think there was anything behind him. Uh-oh! No! Not Snacker! No! No! Spare me! Oh my gosh. Although I have learned later years that you can actually kill him. But ideally, you want to, you, you hope he doesn't spawn behind you. Snacker gets dessert too. No, you don't. He 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 he. No s dessert for you, Snacker. Why would you put the notes on here? <laughs> I don't get why you put them on the side of the ladder. Because you can't really ride the sides of the ladder very well. I see as I do it. Oh man, I can't believe you already have 60 notes. Ah, Mumbo tokens. Give them to me. <laughs> I do believe we need 15 for the second one. Ouch! Whoops. I should have, uh... Try to float a bit longer. <gasps> Surprise! Jiggy number three! 
Right, you gotta be careful. The temp- the temptation is to jump. But, you see, there's not really anywhere to, like, jump to when Snacker comes a-calling, so... You really don't want to do that. You really want to just head back the way you came. Ah, skull by nose. Oh, no! What the? No! No, 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 no! No! Yabby! Oh my god, he got me. Whoopsie. I think it's kind of weird that, you know... That command literally tells you that you're lurking. Weird, I thought Snacker would have come out, but I guess not, huh? No, not again! Weird, why isn't he coming out to get me? Oh my gosh. I should probably not be in the water right now. Aha, yes. Perfect! Just what I needed. Thanks for the honey. Uh, is there something down there? Normally there is. I think there may be a honeycomb in here. No, it's a jiggy! Ha <laughs> ha! Now I must run. Wait. <gasps> oh no, I missed him! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Did I press it too early? Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. That could have been bad. Right, you just gotta be careful. It can be very easy to just, like, get cocky. You really don't want to get cocky. So, right, we need to find... Ooh, 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 give me another life, please. Uh-huh. All right, we're back to full health. Ideally, I don't want to, you know, I ideally don't want to die. Because I'd hate to have to find all the notes and stuff again. Because finding the notes, considering this version of the game doesn't save your progress. Until you, um, you know, you have to recollect everything again if you don't collect everything the first time. But I think that's mainly why I wanted to play this version instead of the, um, the Xbox Live version. One, I don't have my Xbox 360 anymore. And two, you can still play it through an internet browser. But ideally, I wouldn't want to put any more strain on my internet than I am already doing, so... Ha! You'll never find me now! Uh... Hello there! I think I found you! Yeah, you're not getting me. Yikes, please open me gently. No. <laughs> Did I just commit murder? Did I literally just commit murder? Because I literally just smashed him to pieces. <laughs> well, to be fair, it was self-defense, so... Me, Leaky, no good for water. Can Bear block hole with Pebble? Not with Pebble, but maybe an egg? Leaky, 
empty patched up. Now empty water for bear. And more murder. But I think Leaky did that murder, not me. Proud of you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Do I want you to be proud of me, though, for killing people? I don't know. Hey, Furball, you're looking wise. Solve my puzzle and win a prize. Now, what could I have to type? What could I have to do here? Banjo Kazooie. Why would this be a password? Why would this be a password? Unless these worlds were all created just for me. B. As you can see, we have a time limit. Banjo. Um. Ka. Where's the Z? Ah, there it is. Kazoo. The gate opens to reveal your prize, but first I'll cut you down to size. You can't do that to me, I'm doing that to you! More murder was achieved today. <laughs> Thank you. That's the sixth one. We're making good progress. Yes, I'm sure. Genocide. You love genocide. I think we can understand that. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, come on, I need to do a jump. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have drained the water. Ah, uh, no, we're fine. Alright, we're getting closer. Yeah, I believe there's a Jinjo in the water. Imagine how sweaty and stinky Banjo's feet are. Why would you say that? Ouch! What you can do is, you can literally hit him with eggs and kill him that way. But he always comes back, I'm afraid. Honestly, was not expecting any conversation involving Banjo Speed to be happening today, but you know, I guess you learn more when you stream every day. Hey, this Nipper's Beach. You'll find nothing without Nipper's help. Help us then, Crustacean Brain. Grr, cheeky bird needs feathers clipping. Oh yeah, just try it, Shellhead. I actually didn't know how to do this fight at first. I didn't actually realize you could actually run in and hit him in the nose. I'd literally wait until I got the gold feathers for the invincibility. And then just run into him with it. Ah! Yeah, you say that. Would you rather Banjo's trouser stench? One, they're shorts. And two, why? Why? <laughs> oh no, no, two crabs! Oh no! Double kill! Full health and a jiggy! Yay! Oh. 
What's Cash Banuka? Can't say I'm familiar with that game. Okay, we're getting close now. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't want to fall. Wait a minute. There's a mumbo token under the mast. A game about a bandicoot doing crimes? Well, I can safely say that I've never heard of that game before. The problem is there's so many new games coming out. You sometimes don't really have time to just appreciate the classics. I mean, believe me, I've gotten a lot of games over the festive season that I'd love to stream. But there's only so much streaming time in the week. Honestly, if I could, like, win the lottery and not have to worry about working ever again, I'd probably spend all my time streaming. And I'm not talking about winning the grand prize either. I'm just talking about winning enough that you could put it into a savings account and live off the interest for the rest of your life. That would be nice. I need to go up there, because there's a Jiggy up there, I know that. I mean, I'm sure many of us would just love to do that. Right, two more, and then we also have a few- We haven't found any of the honeycombs again, either. I'm pretty sure there's a honeycomb in one of the uh, treasure chests. Ouch. We jump from too high. You can actually jump from too high when using that move. So you gotta be careful. I think we have to fly up to the top of the uh, island now. There's definitely a jiggy up there and potentially a way to like get another jiggy in the main hub. Uh-oh. Man, I'm going too fast. I need to slow down. Why am I even doing it so fast either? I don't know. I was gonna say, Cash Banuka. Isn't that like... Isn't that like... Uh, a nickname for uh, Sly Cooper? Is that what you're talking about? Oh my god, the clams here are huge! It's a joke name for Crash Bandicoot. Okay. Just an orange ginjo left. And then we're in business. I thought Crash Bandicoot saved the world anyway. I know, I probably shouldn't be questioning it. No sir, you are not getting my eggs or feathers. I have none to give to you. But we made it. We made up the here and uh, aha! Switch time. Boom! <gasps> Mumbo token too. How generous! Just five more notes and one more jiggy. I guess this is a game you can really get jiggy with it. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. That was awful. 
<coughs> Ouch! I'm sorry, don't bonk me. <laughs> Although I did deserve it though, I won't lie, I did deserve that. One random note, so there's four more somewhere. Ah, no, no. Snacker, don't eat me. Snacker, no snacking. Snacker, no snacking. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. I just felt I was being a bit quiet. What what's your dog do? What's your dog's claim to theme? Right, so there's four more notes somewhere. And a jiggy. I think I'm over here, actually. I think I have to go over here. I, yes, there they are! Yay! We did it! We got all the notes! Oh, do your dog's videos get a lot more views than your actual ones? I mean, you gotta bear in mind, everyone loves a dog. Or pets in general. If you have a cute pet in particular, like you see how popular those like really beautiful cats are. Aha, there it is. Oh my god, we fell! <laughs> we fell! Snacker, no! Snacker, no! Snacker, no! Snacker! <laughs> Ouch! No! No, don't kill me! Snacker, <laughs> I'm sorry! Oh, I'm gonna die! I can't get away! He's gonna eat me! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I thought I was genuinely gonna die then. <laughs> I definitely thought I was gonna die. No, Shark, don't kill me! I haven't found any of the honeycombs, though. I honestly have no idea where the honeycombs are. I think there might be one in one of these. We've already been in that one, though, so I assume it'll be in a different one. No, don't kill me. Do I really deserve to die for a bad joke? Do I really deserve that? Well, let me just tell you this. My most popular... My most popular YouTube video when I was, um, a regular streamer was about that many views. A bad joke means I have to die. Okay, I get it. I get it. <laughs> I get it. If that has to be the way it is, then I'll have to let it be the way it is. I mean, I need to find these honeycombs first. Then I'll leave myself to fate. I think there's one under the water, actually. I'm pretty sure there's a honeycomb under the water somewhere.
if I'm remembering correctly, which I think I am. Aha, see, I hit him. See, you can actually hit him. Where is it? Where is it? Hmm. Man, I'm trying to remember. I thought I'd go for 100% completion. Banjo Kazooie is one of my favorite collectathon platformers of all time. So, yeah, it's a, it's a good game. No, 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 no. No, 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 ouch. Oh no, I'm going to get looted. Guys, I'm going to get looted. Do you want that? Do you want me to get looted? Oh my god, why did he spawn right there? Wow, I actually neutralized his attack. There it is. See, I knew there was one down here. Oh, dang it. No, snacker, no snacking. Snacker, no snacking. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> I'm getting no help from chat. They want me deluded. Now there's one more honeycomb. I can't remember where it is. I think it's in a treasure chest. I'm pretty sure it's in a treasure chest somewhere. For me, the kind of thing that kind of annoys me about not having the actual, like, C buttons, the fact that it has to use a stick, and you can occasionally accidentally click something, you know, accidentally select something you don't mean to select. So I'm, like, literally just trying to turn the camera left and right, but if I tilt it a bit too far upwards, it'll actually go into first-person mode. Or if I press down by accident, it'll, like, back up a bit, and that's not great. Okay. What shall we do? There should be a treasure chest somewhere. Well, if that's the way it's gotta be, that's the way it's gotta be. I ain't gonna fight the uh, goddess as well. Gotta be careful, though. Right, so treasure chest, treasure chest. There should be one more treasure chest that I don't have the contents for. Well, it's not in that one. Man, I can't believe I can't remember where the uh, honeycombs are. I was hoping I could start the third world, but I guess that's not gonna happen. Okay. Kind of sucks. I would love to actually just get this honeycomb piece and be done with it. Mind you, I already know Genocide and Maiden has big plans for me. 
in all sorts of different ways. Kind of scary, to be fair. Actually, I have a little idea. Well, there's a mumbo token. Oh my gosh, no. Let me go around, please. <laughs> have you tried getting the honeycomb and being done with it? <gasps> I'm trying. My smooth brain is failing me, that's all. Come on, where is it? Where is it? I need to fly. That's what I need to do. I need to fly. And then after flying around for a bit, I might be able to find it. Right, let's have a little wander around up here again. Hmm. I mean, there's all sorts of eggs up here. But I don't need eggs. Mind you, last week when I was on the early shift at work, they didn't have any eggs. I'm literally there with my, with my bacon sandwich. I'm like, where are the eggs? I need an egg for my sandwich. But for whatever reason, it wasn't there. They didn't have it. I mean, I love having a, a, a bacon sandwich with egg and a hash brown on it. But literally just having the bacon and the hash brown, it was missing something. They had a problem with their supplier and they couldn't get any eggs in. Uh-oh. Ow. Ow. Where could it be? Where could this honeycomb be? Oh, thank you, Arpanis, for the follow. Thank you. I assume I've got that name right. You can't beat gravity. No, you can't. Gravity's... Well, I guess you can beat gravity if you, like, fly. Birds beat gravity all the time, don't they? If you think about it. Hmm. Why did I commit to 100% run? Well, there's another mumbo. Oh, Bumfire the Liar, you made it too. Welcome. You've literally caught me at a bad time because I literally can't find this last collectible I need. Why, oh, why did I commit to a 100% run? Curse me and my overconfidence. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Thank you so much for the follow, by the way. It's very appreciated. Thank you. You have dragged him by the tail to join us for a bit. Well, that's kind of you. Thank you. Well, I'm so glad you're enjoying my stream. I always aim for my streams to be as comfy a place as possible. Ah, someone else who's played this gem of a game. 
I need help. Where's the last honeycomb? I don't know if you noticed my about page on Twitch, but now I finally have some panels. With some rules and, you know, my schedules. So hopefully people will find it easier to follow me. It kind of sucks having a shifting shift pattern, but that's the way it is. Minus the occasional non attack. Well, you're my friend, so I don't mind. Friends? Friends can be like that. It's okay. I got the one under the water, but I can't remember where the other honeycomb is. Did you actually go for all the honeycombs? Literally, you'll tell me where it is and I'll be like, Oh, of course. Of course that's where it was. Uh, I honestly thought I could get it, but apparently not. I'm trying to recall. It's not easy to recall the honeycombs. Jiggies and notes, if they're fine, but, you know, when it comes to the honeycombs, because there's so few of them, it's really difficult to remember. The rules say no backseating unless I ask. Actually. You need to read. You need to read. Junico, you need to read. That's where the jiggy was. There's one inside Nipper? Of course there's one inside Nipper! Yeah, I got the one- I got the one with the shark. I got the one where you have to go underwater. I was sure- I actually thought, you know. I actually thought there's a Nipper one. Don't worry, I've already beaten Nipper. Man, I have to go so far to get back to Nipper. Oh my gosh, spawn right there, huh? Yeah, take that Nipper, you jerk. B. Oh no, I missed. I missed. Oh my god, Box protected me. All hail the mighty crate. It protected me. Yeah, I know it's Snacker. I know it's Snacker. I just wanted... I just I just knew I could, like, attack him, you know? I actually realized something as well. You can actually beat Nipper with eggs, too. Eh? I don't see any in here. No, not inside him. Oh. <laughs> the water near him. I found a mumbo token, but I didn't actually find a no I didn't actually find a honeycomb. Wait, is that the one I got? Pretty sure I already have that one. Snacker, no snacking! Snacker, no snacking! Way out to sea? Oh, there's a box at sea! Of course there's one at the box. Yeah, it's near the, uh, it's near Snack Food Island, isn't it? Yeah, draw distance. I didn't see it because of the draw distance. 
There it is. No, wait, no. No, Snacker! Snacker, no! Snacker! Right, so there's a... Okay, it's not this one. Yeah, just remembering where at sea it is is the problem I'm having now. There's only so much to draw distance. There it is! Of course, Snacker spawns right there as well. We got it! Yay! Thank you, Bonfire the Liar. You really saved my bacon. Yeah, I got some new, um, games. I spent the last of my, um, Christmas money on Atelier Sophie 2 and this, uh, Yuri Vision novel called Gold. Alright, that actually took us way longer than I hoped it would. We're literally gonna go get that jiggy that the cannon fired out, and I think we'll end the stream after that. Your best note word for this score is now a hundred! Yay! We did it! No, don't attack me. I'm innocent. I'm just Bab. Yes, we are done with Treasure Trove Cove. Spiral Mountain, Grunty's Lair, Mumbo Mountain, Treasure Trove Co. 50 minutes. Oof, that's not great, is it? <laughs> yes, we will save and quit. I'm sorry, TD. I'm so sorry. You've got to love how this game basically... Basically gives you the bad end just for like saving and quitting. Yes, sure, Grinty ship transformation should be complete. Help me, Banjo! I feel all funny. Baron Bird finished. Grunty wins. <gasps> oh my gosh! Look at her. <laughs> Look at Grunty, she's a beauty. I'm much prettier than Tootie. Oh, you are, mistress. Grunty, nice. Come back to Mumbo Skull, yes? <gasps> what happened, Tootie? Banjo, your sister wants a word with you. Now! So the game basically punishes you for, for having to go and do something else. It's like, you have to play through the game in one foul swoop in order to not see this ending. But we're probably going to see this ending a few times. So guys, let me thank you all so much for watching. I'm taking a day off tomorrow, but I might not because they've been offering half days at work. I didn't get one this today, but they might be offering them tomorrow. If they offer a half day tomorrow and I get it, I might stream tomorrow. But if I don't, I'll see you guys on Thursday. Take care, everybody. Have a good night. Be sure to stick around, though, because we're going to try and raid someone. I feel it's always good to share the love, you know? So I'll see you then. Bye!